Hello and welcome to the episode 160 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, among other things, we have the first ever performance by the Quarrymen, a record-breaking concert in Liverpool and a concert in Hong Kong. On the 9th of June 1957, the Quarrymen, John Lennon's then brand new skiffle band, had their first official engagement with an addition for Mr. Star Maker. It was a talent show to be broadcast by ATV and host by Carol Levis. The performance served for the regional auditions, one of the many similar events taking place throughout Britain, and it was staged at the Empire Theatre in Liverpool. The show provided low-budget entertainment in local theatres. As a rule of thumb, the artists were not professionals, and forfeited any fee for their performance. A typical show hosts a variety of musicians, ventriloquists, jugglers, and other performers. The Quarrymen only performed during the 3 pm preliminary audition, playing their version of Worried Man Blues, failing to qualify for further rounds. Moving on to 1960, we find the Silver Beatles busy at the Institute in Nelston. England. This was the second consecutive Thursday the band performed at the venue, during events organized by their de facto manager Alan Williams and promoted by Les Dodd. The Silver Beatles were George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney on guitar and voice, Tommy Moore on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. Another residency in 1961 the second the Beatles had in Hamburg, West Germany. The band, now with Pete Best on drums and Paul McCartney on bass, performed their 70th straight night at the Top 10 Club. One year later, in 1962, the same lineup returned to the Cavern Club in Liverpool for the first evening engagement after returning to England from the band's third Hamburg residency. Their Welcome Home Night set a new record for the attendance at the club, with 900 people enjoying their performance along with the other acts on the bill – the Red River Jasmine, Vic and the Spider-Man, the Four Jays and Ken Dallas and the Silhouettes. 1963 – The Roy Orbison Package Tour, featuring the Beatles, concluded its ride with a final night at the King George's Hall in Blackburn. Before moving forward with the episode, let me remind you how important it is for you to be fab and show me your appreciation. Come on, give me a like, drop me a line, tell me what you like, or perhaps what you would do differently. When in doubt, please refer to www.simonmas.com support also linked in the episode description. Thank you for making the difference! On the 9th of June 1964, the Beatles, with Jimmy Nicol on drums, played two shows at the Princess Theatre in Hong Kong, in front of a combined total of 3,400 people. The venue wasn't sold out, though, possibly due to the high price of a ticket – about 75 Hong Kong dollars about £91 in 2020 money, the equivalent of a working man's weekly wage at the time. Brian Epstein wasn't happy about it. Back in London, George Martin had an afternoon session in Abbey Road, between 2 and 5.45 pm, to complete the monomixes of A Hard Day's Night and Things We Said Today, plus the compilation of two tapes of songs included in the A Hard Day's Night film for promotional purposes in the United States. The songs included were I Should Have Known Better, If I Fell, Tell Me Why, and I Love Her, I'm Happy Just to Dance With You, I'll Cry Instead, Can't Buy Me Love, and A Hard Day's Night. I'll Cry Instead was initially intended to be used in the film, but it was edited out of the final version. All the songs were included in mono. In 1966, between 2.30 and 8.00 pm, the Beatles completed the overdubs to Good Day Sunshine at the EMI Studios in London. 
Ringo recorded crash cymbals and more drums, Paul added another piano part, and John and George added some hand claps and extra vocals. George Martin also recorded a piano solo, speeding up the tape so that it would sound slower and lower upon normal playback. Six mono mixes were completed before the session was called to a halt, two hours earlier than the scheduled stop at 10 pm. Finally, in 1967, You Know My Name Look Up the Number was edited down in a more or less finished form between 7 and 11 pm. The Beatles and George Martin oversaw the mixing down and editing of the various parts of the piece, plus its reduction onto one of the tracks of a four-track tape, ready for vocal overdubbing. This track, called Take 30, lasted 6 minutes and 8 seconds. It included Take 9 of the first part, Take 12 of the second, Take 4 of the third, Take 6 of the fourth, and Take 1 of the fifth. All of the takes except that of part 1 had been recorded on the previous day. The band would not complete the work on the song until the 30th of April 1969, as detailed in episode 120 of this podcast. And this is the end of this episode. Tune in tomorrow for more about a For You Love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.